Welcome to this demonstration for Punch Out to Go for Magento 2. Our solution is the Punch Out to Go extension for Magento 1 and Magento 2, uh, but right now we're going to be focusing on Magento 2. Uh, Punch Out to Go provides the ability for Magento merchants to seamlessly integrate B2B Punch Out catalogs with any of their customers using any e procurement system that supports Punch Out, including Ariba, Coupa, SAP, Oracle. PeopleSoft, Jaeger, formerly SideQuest, and many, many more. The punch out to go gateway sits between Merchants Magento Store and any of their Merchants customers on any procurement system in order to normalize and harmonize the data in various protocols that may be used from system to system. Benefits are, are broad. Um, obviously, Magento Merchants will retain key customers by doing business the way their customers want to do business. They'll increase sales revenue on integrated accounts and open up many new sales channels and opportunities. Increase profitability on integrated accounts by lowering the cost to serve these customers. And increase customer satisfaction with a better customer experience and improved order accuracy, ultimately reflecting your products and services and such in a manner that best suits your needs. The actual e-procurement process uh, though very complex and does vary from system to system, um, generally starts uh, from the procurement system. The user can select a vendor and ultimately be authenticated into the vendor's e-commerce application. They will add items to their cart, and when they get to the shopping cart, they won't proceed through a normal checkout. They're instead going to be transferring that shopping cart details back over to the procurement system. Once they get to the procurement system, that's when they can get a route for approvals, and ultimately a purchase order will be dispatched once approved. In that particular scenario, the purchase orders can be sent a lot of different ways from the various procurement systems. The most efficient way is to get these orders back into an order management system. Um, if you have integration between your order management system and Magento, these orders can actually be pushed right back into Magento so that you can use your normal flow that you may have in place. Same thing goes for invoicing. If you want to get paid, you'll need to invoice, obviously. And we can trigger off events uh, within Magento to route uh, invoices back into the procurement system. So now we're going to get into a little demonstration of uh, punch out to go for Magento. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Coupa. Coupa is one of the fastest growing e-procurement systems on the market. Uh, fan favorite, if you will, uh, global. Uh, presentation, global representation, uh, and from within Coupa, uh, buying organizations have access again to their vendors from everything from sourcing to ordering uh, and so forth in collaboration with vendors. Uh, down here you'll see that we have the Magento logo. This ultimately would be a merchant's logo. Uh, so when I select Magento, it's going to authenticate me into our Magento 2 store. Once the store opens, it will authenticate us, it will know who we are, it will reflect the correct offering and pricing. That's the way we had set this one up. Uh, and we'll go in and get a new jacket here. So you'll notice up here in the top right also it said Welcome Brady. Uh, so it does have us authenticated. So we'll build our product. Add the item to our cart. And then we'll go to our checkout. And remember, we're not going to proceed through a normal checkout. We are instead going to transfer the shopping cart back over to the procurement system. What happens here is there will be workflow on the procurement system side. And again, this is a buyer experience. Here's where they'll you know, define where they want the item shipped, um, any types of um, um, split a billing, if you will, within the organization. Um, ultimately, they can submit for approval. Once it gets approved, again, that's where the purchase order uh, would be dispatched. So that was a quick dry run. Uh, now we'll log into our Magento admin and show you what some of those configurations look like on the Magento side. Everything is actually really reliant on uh, Punch Out to Go. Uh, because we sit in the middle, uh, there's really less configuration that's needed on the Magento side. 
um, and configurations can be maintained both uh, in Magento as well as within our gateway. So we'll give this a second to load. Uh, we'll go over here to our punch out to go module, select punch out, one of the services. <clears throat> and here's where we kind of have uh, standard configurations. Now we're going to be talking about frequently asked questions that we see often from organizations that are looking for punch out to go for Magento. Uh, first question is, how are Punch-Out users authenticated? Well, that's a great question. Depending on the e-procurement system, we generally would look to create users' uh, accounts on the fly, associated to a store and assigned to a specific customer group if necessary. There's obvious benefits for this, which include personalized behaviors that individual user accounts may have. Uh, in, in some cases, this won't be possible, so we'll need to use a default user. So you can set up default users within uh, Magento associated to the correct store, and we will utilize those. Now, how do I ensure the appropriate products and pricing are reflected? You can either do this by store level configurations or customer group configurations, depending on the way that you have set up your Magento store. We've seen this a lot of different times, and we've done it a lot of different ways. Uh, but ultimately, the power is in Magento for you to differentiate offering and pricing, whether it's by customer groups, segments, or store configurations. Uh, what about orders? So the punch-out process, again, is just the user authentication from the e-procurement system into the Magento uh, store. Uh, and, and once they transfer that shopping cart back over the procurement system, that completes the punch-out process for the most part. Uh, once that order becomes approved, that's when you can receive that purchase order. We can receive purchase orders via many different methods, including EDI and CXML, and I'll get into that here in just a few minutes. Um, but there may be cases where the organization you are selling to can only email, unfortunately. Um, so there'll be case-per-case -case basis. Uh, and it's very important that you work with our solution consultants so that we can best uh, put the right solution in front of you. Uh, and what about e-invoicing? Same thing, really. Uh, but if you would like to send invoices from Magento to your customers, your procurement systems that do support it, uh, make sure you discuss uh, invoicing solutions with our team. Invoices can be auto-triggered off Magento events, such as ship notices or completed order statuses. And next we're going to talk about some steps. These are very important, so uh, break out your pen and paper or take a good screenshot here. Um, but obviously, again, working with your punch out of go solutions consultant is the most important piece. Um, understanding the process uh, is what our solutions consultant is going to work with you on. Understanding, you know, A, what your customers are expecting, uh, and B, how the process works as a whole. Um, and then ultimately determining the scope. Uh, we will also, step two would be installation and configuration uh, for the applicable scoped processes, such as punch out or orders or invoices. Um, your customer trading partner integration setups each. Each integration that we do with your organization will be set up within our punch out to go portal, uh, which is a way that you can simulate the process to ensure that your end customers are going to be getting uh, the experience that, that they're looking for. Once you give us the green light, we are then going to have our marching orders to go work with and on your behalf uh, with your customers and their procurement systems teams. Uh, some key takeaways um, from this video is Identify the systems that your e-procurement custom customers are utilizing. It doesn't matter uh, for punch out to go in terms of connectivity, but each system has different functionality and methods of communication and workflow. So it's good for you to gather that type of information. Um, understanding your customer's requirements, again, is very important. Does the customer expect certain design or personalized behaviors for your store? We see a lot of that in promotional product type companies where they have you know, differentiated offering, obviously, and co-branded stores for customers. Uh, so these are just things that, to, to think about as you guys start marching towards the uh, e-procurement space. Um, does the customer expect differentiated user experience, such as product offering and pricing? We covered that in an earlier shot and slide. Make sure you think about that. Um, what browser versions does the customer need you to support? Unfortunately, we still see IE7 and IE8. And in some cases, you know, there's not much that we can do about that. So it's important for 
your design and development team to understand what those browser requirements are. Um, and does the customer expect or require electronic orders and or invoicing, or are they capable? Uh, do they want you to use their portal to manually address orders? That's unfortunate if they do, but in some cases that's the way it goes. Uh, and depending on volume, automation is likely going to save tons of resources on your end and eliminate errors streamlining these initiatives. Just some, uh, I guess, a little bit of a hint here for common protocol calls that are utilized through procurement. Uh, for punch out, there's variations of CXML, XML, uh, as well as OCI. Uh, OCI is a predominant flavor for SAP based systems. For purchase orders, there's variations of CXML, XML, EDI, IDOC, SOAP, etc. Uh, invoicing, uh, variations of CXML, XML, EDI, uh, SOAP, etc. Same type of uh, conversations. But it's important that you guys uh, have insight into the types of protocols so that you guys can speak effectively. Uh, so we look forward to the opportunity of serving your organization for Magento and Magento 2.